How to reclaim your bed from your toddler in a weekend. With child sleep expert, Andrea Grace. Is your toddler sleeping in bed with you? There comes a time when even the most tolerant parent needs some space and some me time during the night. And let's face it, toddlers can make very selfish bedfellows, sleeping horizontally across the pillows, taking up all the room and kicking off the covers. If you are reaching the end of your tether, here is a simple action plan which will help you teach your child how to sleep happily through the night in his or her own bed for good. Just remember to keep a warm welcome into your bed for morning cuddles. Step 1. Friday. If your child is old enough, explain that tonight she will be sleeping all night in her own bed. Make this as positive as possible. Role play with your child, putting the toys to bed and giving them, the toys, plenty of praise for staying there. Stock up on little rewards such as stickers or small toys. And if at all possible, have a daytime rest yourself. You will need some reserves of energy tonight. Step 2. Friday bedtime. Remember that the key to helping your child sleeping all the way through the night lies in how she settles at the beginning of the night. She needs to be aware when she goes to sleep that you're not in the room with her. In order to help you do this, you need to establish a highly consistent bedtime routine. This familiar series of steps leading up to bedtime will help her to feel not only safe, but in time to feel sleepy too. Put her into her bed or cot, lean over and have a brief goodnight cuddle. Explain again gently and quietly what you're going to do and then go. Leave on a very positive note. If she cries or gets out of bed, return briefly to either reassure or put her back to bed. Spend no more than 30 seconds with her. If she seems frightened, stay calm and reassuring, but do not reinforce any fears by hanging around. If necessary, sit out on the landing and put her back into bed as many times as it takes, hence the need for vast energy reserves. Do not lock or even close the door if it is usually left open. If experience has shown you that she will continually chase you to the door, you are better off using a stair gate in the bedroom doorway as a temporary measure. Explain that this is to keep you safe. To avoid getting into a tussle, you should leave periods of up to 10 minutes if you can before returning her to bed. If your child is in a cot and is standing up and crying, you should return calmly every five minutes. There's no need to go back at all when you know that she is lying down and the nature of the cry turns into a grumble or a complaint. Eventually, she will fall asleep and it is vital that you are not in the room when this happens. Once she's fallen asleep alone, you are over the worst, so give yourself a pat on the back. Go to bed early and be mentally prepared to be up in the night. If there are two of you, you might like to split the night into shifts. Just make sure that when it's your turn to go into your child, that you're both like-minded and consistent in your approach. If your child wakes up and comes into your room after you have gone to bed, force yourself to get up and put her back to bed just as you did earlier in the evening. Do not relent at any stage. You will only prolong or seriously damage the learning process. Step 3. Saturday. Before allowing your child to get up for the day, open the curtains or put on the lights. This will give a clear signal that night time is over and it is time for the day to begin. Consolidate the work that you have done by continuing the same actions. Offer her lots of loving and specific praise. You slept in your own bed. Be sure to give her a reward. During the day, be especially loving towards your child. Tell her what a clever girl she is. At night, repeat the same routine. Put her to bed and then go, leaving on a positive note. Return to put her back to bed as many times as it takes. Don't stay with her until she falls asleep. She must be alone in the room when this happens. Usually, it only takes a couple of nights to solve the majority of older babies and young children's sleep problems. This is provided that you are able to be consistent, confident 
and resolved.